Another day, another round of what in the world is happening out here. Make sure you smash that and crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. Hey, Silent Magician, how are you? Now, this is something that, um, with the inclusion of Yugi's cards smashing through the front door here with Gandora and things, a few more people have been kind of looking at Silent Magician here and going, hey, you know, do we do we want to pick these up? You know, is there is there a reason for this? Because I mean, you have tribute to spellcaster monster to be able to deploy this, and it gains 500 attack and defense for each card in my hand. Now, obviously, this is going to synergize with the draw power and things that have been coming out. And I've seen a couple of profiles play this. Personally, I don't think that this is that crazy of a card to be including in the deck. It just feels like you're kind of like adding in more bricks to the pile, but. People do like the idea of wanting to play this. And as you see here, I mean, you've been riding the $35 train for months at this point in time. Um, more recent sales have been 37 34 34 And you can get an Italian copy here for uh, 27 27 That's actually really good. But most of your English copies are going to be pushing you about 34 plus at this point in time. So if this is something that you wanted to have um, just for the collection purposes of Yugi's cards, it's worth it. High Silent Burning. This is all. I love how the top end here is $15. Meanwhile, they're a dollar fifty to three dollars. Hmm. No, no, I, I don't think I will. I also like the fact that. You're kidding me. Silent Paladin is actually... Well, there was a time. And it looks like we've had sales of $4. Uh-huh. Yep. And, of course, the Silent Swordsman himself coming in at a nice... Wow, 12, 12, and 12. All right, so you can get Italian copies for, once again, $9. But, yeah, these are rocking up. Yeah, everything Yugi-related underneath the sun at the moment is doing its thing. It's actually kind of hilarious, because back in August, these were 16, and they've actually gone down. <laughs> so, I guess that's a pretty nice improvement, right? Like, it, as long as it's in your favor of you wanting to pick up something. But remember, this is all for whatever purpose that you want to be able to play this stuff in the upcoming Gold Sarcophagus, Gandora, Yugi pile. You know, or you're trying to make more of an anime canon deck. I know I'm talking to the casual players today. Deal with it, all right? Not everything has to be 100% competitive all the time, all right? I'm personally looking forward to actually building a Yugi deck myself, all right? <laughs> That's why I played gadgets for so long. It's because you get the chance to enjoy, you know, the anime-esque feel of these things and enjoy the game that we all know and love. All righty. Hi. So this, remember, this card did not get the reprint in Volian Smashers, all right? I believe it got ported out for something else, and quite a few people were actually pretty upset about that. I mean, they were like, yes, we're finally getting a rare Cyber Heart ability. Nope, just kidding. You weren't getting your reprint of this anytime soon. Uh, do keep in mind that fairly more recently, these have started to push back up to the $20 inch, which is very funny because I, I see lowest here is $18 a piece. Heading on up into the nineteen dollar range. There's not really, there's not really anything that really plays this at the moment. The cool thing is, like, if your deck plays synchros, you can play this with like a splash uh, package of the Harpy's Featherstorm. Because look, you can generically make a Harpy card, and that means that as long as you draw the Featherstorm, you can splash it. All right, I've only ever seen two Sword Soul decks in my life actually doing that, and. That was it, actually. Um, yeah, I, I don't really think it's that good, but it's all about the tech choices along the way. All right, what else we got going on here? Hey, hey, so uh, Quem got cratered off the face of the planet the last couple weeks, uh, which I don't, I feel like I missed something with this as to why Quem has been going up. Because, like, there hasn't, on the regional grind, there has not been hardly any, and I mean any, Fallen of Albaz. Everything has been built into our dear friends over at the uh, the Fun Dome, aka Chimera and friends. So to see that you know this is kind of doing its thing and pushing up, people are going crazy for this. They, they're actually today you've had sales at thirty five dollars. Um, no, I don't think I will spend that much money. It's okay if you don't if you think that this is too much. Hop on over here to the Starlight Bend because they're 140. I love the fact that, you know, 
just a few months ago. These were $260. And then we went down, 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 down. You've lost a, about 50% value over the last couple months. You just need this card to go down to another nine bucks and we'll be half off from where we were from its six or last couple months high. All right, Crimson Dragon. Wow, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Seeing the quarter century of this for $105, um, this actually looks like it's starting to ramp. Oh, it is ramping down. See, we had a. These actually have. We have bought one for ninety. Lucky du duelist. This had five sales yesterday. Okay, that's pretty impressive. It looks like we're holding about one hundred eight to one hundred and ten, pretty much across the board. Interesting. Why is sales pit? Hold on, uh, I gotta investigate sale. Oh, sales pitch. I, I tried to open you. Please. Let me in, sales pitch. Oh. Oh, uh, art. I guess. Secret rare. Uh, somebody actually. 348. Huh. This is a $2 to $3 card still. Ah, hold on here. How many of these are on the market? 38? Did I just walk into a buyout on the bottom page? Okay. The fact that sales pitch only has 38 listings for it um that's interesting i think i guess there's anything else too crazy going on with it anymore oh well, your boxes are expensive holy crap and osses are down to 78 dollars. man set is so bad and lightning storms hey look pascalis is still four dollars wow this set is butt now like i'm actually disgusted with this like, mr highland yeah this set is bad no wonder why sales pitch is doing its thing Okay, cool. Well, sales pitch gaining some much needed interesting value. Uh, let's talk about volley and smashes over here on the, the TCG player side of things. Boxes are down to $64. Okay, Emblem of Oats coming in at 40s. Primera is coming in at 35s. Centurion Legacy is at 30s. Uh, True is at 30s. Memento Anguish, 20 bucks. Uh, the Memento Bone Party at 15. Centurion Emmeth coming in a little bit hotter. Interesting. Um, I don't really know how I feel. Memento Combined, $5. Valmonica, uh, 5 Stand up Centurion, nice $2 for a super. Looks like people have been paying it. Interesting. Dark Blade at 2 I always, it's always curious to see what people are paying out here for this stuff. It doesn't look like we have any sales for the higher rarity stuff. Let's teleport on back here. Um, Legatia, 200. Oof. Memento at 300. Yikes. The Dark Blade at 200. <laughs> These are so unrealistic. Why? Valmonica Angelo, 200. Man, tell me that you didn't want sales without telling me that you didn't want sales. Now, always putting things too high is going to make sure that nobody wants to buy from you. They had the Legatee at 300 Okay, sure. <laughs> I, interesting. Stand-Up Centurion at 2 Archlord Christia at $300. You can go over to Kong's Cards right now. To use discount code MCO40. And they had Archlord Christia's at $122. Why would I pay this garbage price? When I can get it much cheaper elsewhere, I right, like that—that's the thing I don't understand. Like pre-sales, you want to sell your product. You don't want to sit at the top and go, "Hmm, I don't understand why my stuff's not selling." You know, you—you you want it to be a cheap and affordable price point. Interesting. And huh, quarter century ghost trick angel of mischief. You know, these have been calming down. I'm—I'm I'm gonna keep watching this card because. If we've learned our lesson about the little crazy things that happen in this game, this seems like one of those cards that has an upward potential to actually do something. Also, Double Iris Magician here. Hmm. $2 still. You might want to keep an eye on this thing, too. Um, we have some Pendulum Magician hype that's been kind of resonating around, especially with the, the new Gate Magician that we've seen getting splattered off of the market literally every other day. I don't actually understand it, but, you know... Uh, cheap cards are definitely going to draw people in, and I, I think that's actually a good thing. So what do you guys think about today's market? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.